YouTube channel and if you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Shujatana and I make content related to beauty, makeup and lifestyle. And if you are interested, please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit the notification bell just next to it so that you don't miss any update. And now let's move on to the video. So I have actually shot a tutorial because this is the festive season after all and this is the look I created for Rakhi. Uh, this went a little overboard like I created a gorgeous makeup look even though I wanted to keep it really nice, subtle and mellow but uh, this turned out to be really gorgeous. You can do this sort of look in any occasion, any festival I guess. So the festive season is already here and uh, there would be a lot of occasions so you can do this look uh, in all those occasions as well this is a very very easy look and I created it with very few products as well so I am sure you guys want to know how I created this look and if you want to know how I created this look then please keep on watching so I'm starting off with my base first and for that I'm using this Maybelline fit me matte plus polis primer The Maybelline one is basically a matte pore filling primer sort of and I also want a really nice glow on my face today so I'm using this Swiss Beauty Real Makeup Base. Uh, this is in the shade Golden Tint. I'll also use it on my face for a really nice fresh glow. Look at that. So the base is looking so nice and glowing and now I will move on with my foundation and I am using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I will use a very little amount of it because I want this glow. And then I am blending it. And now I am using my Swiss Beauty concealer. Now I am using the banana powder from My Glam to set my face. And I'll do my brows and be back. So I'm done with the brows and I want to finish off the face first today. And uh, for the rest of the face makeup I'm using this Maybelline Master Blush Palette. And I'll use this uh, Coralie sort of a blush. Like this is a peach nude sort of a blush because I want that nice light flush of color. So pretty. Obviously I'll apply it on my nose as well. And now I will set my face with this Swiss Beauty Makeup Fixer. I am taking my blender and just blending everything in. I can't believe I haven't even applied highlighter yet and just look at that glow. So now we will move on to the eye makeup and I want a really simple and nice eye makeup today and I am not going to do a lot so yeah let's start now. I am using this Nikake birthday cake palette and I will take this uh, lighter pink shade and I will apply it on all over my eyelid actually. I don't want a lot of color just a nice flush of color like it would look like uh, we have applied eyeshadow but yeah it wouldn't be very vibrant and visible so yeah this is how I want the pigmentation to be like. And next I am taking this Stay Quirky Badass Kajal and I am taking this angular brush as well and I will apply a very nice smoky sort of an eyeliner kind of with this angular brush because I want it to be very very precise and thin so yeah let's do that so 
so as you all can see i have done a very nice smoky smudged sort of a liner with the kajal uh, it doesn't even look like a liner but it's still giving a lot of definition to the eyes so yeah that is how i wanted it to be and now i will move on to the lower lash line and for my lower lash line i am using this my glam lit matte eyeliner pencil in the shade yas So I applied it much lower than my actual waterline. Like I applied it on my lower lash line and not on my waterline. I guess you guys can see it properly. And I'm joining it with the black, a light wing that I did, and I'm joining it with that. So yeah. And now I will tight line my upper eyelid with the black kajal, the stick work you want. Now I will apply a thick coat of mascara to finish off the look. I'm using the Maybelline Hypercut Mascara. And we are done. Just to give this a twist, I would like to apply a popping yellow uh, shade on my inner corners because this looks so good and I personally love such um popping in her corners so yeah if you don't like that you can definitely apply a normal highlighter or a proper rose gold or any anything you like but um, yeah because this has a little bit of gold like a golden yellow kind of a thing on my outfit so i just want to go ahead with that one so let's see how that looks i already love it gorgeous for my highlighter i'm using this same highlighter from the maybelline palette like this one because this is a very nice subtle kind of a highlighter and you can see my face today without the highlighter and it's glowing it's all because of the primer that we used the swiss beauty one also i have used a very low coverage uh, foundation like i have used the foundation so that it does not uh, make a very heavy coverage so yeah it's looking really nice today i'm loving it it's beautiful For my lipstick I am using this purple lip crayon in the shade from Sharing to Caring. So I'm wearing this bindi and this earrings you can see I love this earrings this is so pretty and yeah this is the finished look I'm in love with how this turned out so yeah this is it. that was it about the look i really wanted to keep it nice and subtle but yeah this turned out to be really gorgeous i feel because i have not really done a lot like you can use any sort of colored eye pencil on your eyes 
and just smoke out the upper lash line with the kajal as I did. And yeah, you can get a really nice uh, sort of a eye look. Like you can match it with your outfit like I did. Like I have used this turquoise uh, bluish greenish sort of uh, kajal on my lower lash line and I have used a popping inner uh, corner, inner, high, inner corner highlight. So yeah, that is how the look turned out. And, and I have also used a really nice bold lip shade today because it's a festive look after all. So yeah, you can also uh, do this look in any festival, I feel. So yeah, that was it about today's video. I hope you guys liked today's tutorial. And if you did, do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can share this video with your friends and family. That would mean a lot to me. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I keep on posting a lot of content on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I would put the link of my Instagram handle in the description below. You can check it out from there and follow me on Instagram as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care, stay safe and lots of love. Bye.